Well, hello there, YouTubers. This is PNG Technologies. We're out of Michigan. We're a supplier of custom propane and natural gas kits. Today, we're going to be showing you the Generac XP 8000E. That's 8,000 running, 12,000 starting. We'll go ahead and show you the custom kit on this and how to install it, and we'll get started on that. Okay, the first thing we got to do is we're going to remove this cover here. It's only by four uh, screws here. It, it makes it a little easier to get to the choke and uh, some of the things that you got to disconnect under here. So these are a star bit. I don't know the exact size, but they are a star. Go ahead and remove those four. Okay, and then that just pulls right off. Now you got real good access to all that, so we'll go ahead and show you the next step. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and remove the cover. These are 5 sixteenths. Go ahead and get that off. There's two of them on there. Pull your cover off. The air cleaner's in there too, so careful with that. We got the air cleaner net out. Okay, now we're going to go ahead. There's two Phillips down here. It's hard to see them, but there are two right down here, and that's the bracket on the back. We'll go ahead, and there are spacers in between them too. You see that little spacer fall out from behind. Okay. Go ahead and take that to the side. Get this one off. All right, got that. Now you got two studs up here. Okay, we'll go ahead and remove those two. And we got one more back here. There we go. And that should do it there. A little bit more. There we go. All right, and then you got your top for your choke. That's 5 sixteenths also. Go ahead and loosen that up and just pull that to the side and we'll show you the next steps. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and install the slim adapter. Now put the hose on before you do this. Um, that, it just makes it easier. That way you don't have to reach up in there between the filter and all that. So go ahead, make sure the gasket's on there slide our adapter on there okay make sure your choke closes and opens good okay we'll just keep it open go ahead and install the gasket will supply you on there okay and go ahead and get the air cleaner cover back ready to go on Line that up. Sometimes those studs push back. Just got to kind of pull them out. Okay. And if it pushes back in, you just got to repeat it on you. Just line in the bolts up. That oh, one's still not quite pulling through good enough. Keeps pushing back on me. There you got the 
this time. There we go. And go ahead and get those back on. There's not much room in there, but it can be done. Okay, we got one started there. Another one started. Alrighty. Go ahead and tighten them down. Pretty easy to install, not much, you know. Tighten that down there. All right, that's pretty snug there. Just make sure one more on this one. Got it. Go ahead and get our cable back up here. Tighten that down. We'll get the air filter back in. Okay. Get the cover on. It's a little tight there, but it goes. It's that filter back there that's catching it. All right. So close. There we go. Come on, baby. Pop on there. Yeah, that filter's catching back there on me. close just catching the inside of that air cleaner just enough to cause it to not go on right might have to trim a little of that off just catching back there I mean all right I'm gonna trim a little of that and then we'll give another shot here okay what I had to do to get this back on is this bar that comes across here. There's just two screws, one on this side, one on that side. I just loosen them up and drop the bar down. And then just bring her back up. Maybe. There we go. And just line the holes back up. There it goes. Go ahead and get those back in. Get this side back in. And that part of it is done. Okay. That's it there. All this is installed. We'll go ahead and show you the next steps. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get our cover back on here. Those all 
start it. Fairly easy little setup, nothing real major. What I like, what's going to happen next is going to be nice and easy for the customer to do because we're not going to drill the frame. We're going to use existing bolts with a nice custom bracket. Yeah, very easy install. You'll see that here in a second. Go ahead and take these up. And that's that. We'll go ahead and show you the next steps. Okay, now what I'm going to do is this is the vibration bracket that was in the back. It kind of kinks the hose here a little bit. I just don't want it to rub on it. So just go ahead and remove this. And you can, you know, keep it. Don't disregard it because you can always put it back to original factor if you'd like. Pull that. Go ahead and put the bolts back up in there. that step there and I mean that's the adapter install so that's pretty easy it's all just right there you got the hose on it see it's hard to get up in there if you gotta try to get that whole clamp on there all right that's that step there we'll show you the next ones okay now what we're gonna do is go ahead and install our regulator and what we did is we come up with a custom bracket that'll mount right here there'll be no drilling um, anything in the frame use the two existing we'll supply you new hardware for it so go ahead and pull these two out and like I said we'll give you new ones for this again if you want keep them you know you got them go ahead and get this installed on there Nice and tight go ahead there will already be bolts on the bottom of this just remove those go ahead and run them in the bottom get this one going tighten that down that's that now we'll just bring our hose around slip our hose over Tighten that down. Look how nice and easy that was. Don't have to do hardly anything. That's what's nice about custom kits. This is for this unit, this unit only. So this is the propane setup here. This is what you'll get unless you order it with the quick connect. Uh, then this will be the quick connect side. For natural gas, we'll show you that stuff here in a little bit. But we'll go ahead and get this started. That can, uh, concludes this video on this particular unit. Okay, now we've got this all hooked up. We got our propane hooked up to it. Uh, turn the tank on. Turn your valve on here. On the back of here is a primer button. Now this is your power adjustment. Every situation is different, so you will probably have to adjust this. We'll get you close. Um, out is rich, in is lean. Like I said, we preset them, but just loosen the nut up so you can turn it. Hit the button. Hit your start. Well, that's that stuff there. Now when you do natural gas, again, like I said, this won't be here, the bushings, you'll have a male uh, end on here and your hose will have the quick connect on it and that'll be set up for natural gas so that's the steps on this okay that's the generac xp 8000e again as you can see it's a nice custom kit it's not a throw in a box universal you get a lot of questions on people asking a little bit different like on prices and stuff they see things a lot cheaper than what we offer but none of them's got heavy duty brackets they're not set up like this this is specifically for this unit so 
If you're interested in purchasing this kit from us, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734-992-2648. I hope this video helped. Uh, we appreciate you watching it. Please hit the like button below. Um, again, thank you very, very much and have a wonderful day.